Hey people, this is Ashwint once again with a tutorial series for multimeter. So in this video, I'll show you how you can utilize the HFE feature on a multimeter. Now the term HFE actually stands for a mouthful. It indicates hybrid parameter forward current gain common emitter. Now I'm not going to get into the theory of it, but to get you a perspective, the term forward means it deals with current amplification and the term common emitter means that we are going to test the transistor in common emitter configuration. Now HFE is also called as current gain of a transistor or beta value of a transistor and it can be given by the formula collector current divided by base current. To again give a much simpler perspective, it is nothing but we are going to pass a small current from the base of the transistor to the emitter of the transistor and we are going to measure the resulting amplification current from the collector of the transistor to the emitter of the transistor. So what happens here is that the multimeter provides a small current from the base to the emitter of the transistor and measures the resulting current from the collector to the emitter of the transistor. This way we can measure the DC amplification capacity of your transistor otherwise the beta value of your transistor. Now before we get in we have to figure out few things about the transistor which we are going to measure the beta value of. For example, this one here is a BC547 transistor which is NPN. The first terminal is collector, second terminal is a base and the third terminal is emitter. Now on the multimeter to check the beta value put your dial in HFE mode and then we have our slots over here. So that is both NPN and PNP. We know that this transistor is an NPN transistor and the first pin is a collector. So we have to find the collector under NPN and you have to connect the terminals accordingly. So it has to be in the order collector, base and emitter. Once you do that you will see the DC amplification value or the beta value is 387 uh, which is uh, less than 800 so 800 is the maximum beta value according to the data sheet of BC547 but we have only 387. Now let's measure with another transistor so this one here is the BC557 which is a PNP transistor again terminal is collector base and emitter the maximum beta value is 300 according to data sheet so now Let's measure the beta value of this transistor, find the PNP slot and then the first pin is collector. So insert your terminals accordingly. Uh, first pin is collector, base emitter. When you do that, we will find the beta value of this transistor to be 279. So every transistor, even if the part number is same, will have a different beta value. This method allows you to measure the exact beta value of your transistor. So uh, this is within the 300 limit. So let's uh, move on to the next transistor which is a 2N222. Again, this transistor is an NPN transistor and the terminals are emitter, base and collector. You can find all these information from the data sheet of your transistor. I have just written it down so that it's easy to demonstrate. Now again, uh, find the NPN and then uh, connect your transistor into emitter, base and collector. When you do that, you see that the value is 202, which is again equal to the 200, which is mentioned as the maximum current gain in the transistor of 2N, in the data sheet of 2N222. Now that is it guys, this is how you can use this multimeter to check the beta value of your transistors. But apart from this, you can also use this method to figure out if your transistor is an NPN transistor or a PNP transistor. For example, if I insert the transistor in the wrong slot and within the wrong terminals, I won't get anything on the multimeter. So this indicates uh, this method can also be used to figure out if your transistor is an NPN transistor or PNP transistor or you can even find out the terminals of your transistor because only if you insert it in the right slots, you will get any reading out of it. So that is it guys thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye